Hi everyone, welcome back to another EFT Bite. I'm EFT trainer Claire Rosamon here from Brisbane, Australia, and today we're going to look at a really simple way to track a relationship's negative interactional cycle. So if we think about how partners impact each other when they get into a tough spot, we can see here that if we start with the green partner, partner one, that what each partner does has an impact on how the other feels. This is because they matter to each other because they're each other's attachment figure. So what the green partner does impacts how the red partner feels, impacts their vulnerable feelings that are not so easily shown. And these vulnerable feelings in the heart impact what the red partner does to cope with those feelings. So when the, what the red partner does then impacts how the green partner feels. It impacts the green partner's vulnerable feelings that are not so easily shown. And those vulnerable feelings for the green partner then impact what they do. So if we break down how to track the cycle step by step, here we see that what the green partner does when they're reactive impacts how the red partner feels and how the red partner feels then impacts what they do to cope with those vulnerable feelings. And what the red partner does when they're reactive then impacts how the green partner feels in their vulnerable places that are not easily shown. And the green partner's vulnerability then primes their coping strategy. So what they do and the cycle then goes round and round. Now it's important we don't always start with the same partner because both partners' reactive positions or behaviours are going to be triggering, triggering of vulnerable feelings for the other to cope with. Both cope in ways that make sense to them and help them to manage vulnerability or painful emotions but become triggering to the other. So for example, if the green partner gets loud when they feel scared, they might get critical of the red partner and the red partner then feels hurt. So the red partner, of course, wants to defend themselves. But when they do that, the green partner feels more scared and alone. And as we get to know more about their pattern and what's going on inside for each partner, we might learn that the green partner gets loud when they fear that they don't matter to the red partner. They might get triggered by the red partner seeming shut down or disinterested or being distracted by work or on their phone, for instance. And we might learn that the green partner's protest of this distance lands in ways that leave the red partner feeling really hurt and not good enough. And this, of course, is hurtful for the red partner because the green partner means so much to them. So they defend themselves to show the green partner that they're not so bad. But when the red partner defends themselves, the green partner is not getting the reassurance that they cared about. And so they feel even more scared and small and unlovable. So they're likely to keep protesting in loud ways that push the red partner away. And the red partner is likely to defend in ways that leave the green partner feeling more and more alone. So as you can see, with each misunderstanding and misattunement, the distance and disconnection grows. But helping people be able to see this pattern in a non-blaming, non-shaming way is the first step in them being able to see it and catch it and be able to disrupt it. And that's what we help them do in every EFT session in stage one.